internet. Just a little quickie from me. That's what she said. Uh, sorry, I haven't been about much. Been, um, yeah, not great. Uh, but yeah, here's how the tank's looking. As you might notice, there's been a little change here. Um, my Duncan, I've stuck there yesterday and it's now sulking horribly. It's still got the hole there and the hole there. Not exactly sure what's going on there. I'm worried that it's um, kind of necrosis. That has been swapped for the green torch coral which I had to sell the other day. Um, yeah, money's very tight at the moment. And I'm going to be selling my lovely golden hammer as well. So that's going to be going shortly. But, yeah, the uh, the clowns have got their shag palace, as I've lovingly called it. Um, they, they have been checking it out and giving it a bit of a, a clean, so fingers crossed. And I've got this little guy, because I had to... Um, get rid of lovely Primus, my Siamese fighting fish, because he started eating the shrimp. So uh, yeah, I've got a water lettuce, or a lettuce sea slug, also known as a lettuce nudibranch. Uh, it's a little bit of a risk with this little guy, because you're, you're never sure what he's going to eat. This is day three, and he started to sulk a bit. He's been active for two days. I'll, I'll add on another little video with this in a bit just so you can see what he was like the other day um, but you can see he has eaten quite a lot of algae here uh, I'm worried it's my nitrates my nitrates are spiking again they're around the 20 mark uh, I have been dosing um, biofuel but I've been having issues with my skimmer again so I'm I'm worried that that's the cause of both the algae and the sulking. So uh, yeah, a little bit worried about that and said money isn't great so there's not a lot I can do about it at the moment. Um, but less, less of the doom and gloom, there, there is a, a lot of algae, but I've had a, a bit of a, a move around of things. You can see the, the lovingly glued bit of Montipora there. I've put my pulsing zinnia on the wall hopefully it'll grow along the wall and it's, it's having a lovely time there nice bit of flow my bird's nest is starting to colour up quite nicely it's getting really nice you can see the iridescent greens on that that's a very pretty little coral so hopefully that'll do well it has grown already you can see growth on it so that's pretty ace and over here where the pulsing zinnia was I've got my little bit of Superman Monty and a very tiny bit just of normal Montipora. Nothing special, but you know, if, if that grows, that'll look really pretty. I uh, got another couple of um, Trocus snails. I love these guys, they are absolute workhorses and they've already gotten to, to task on the algae. And I'm hoping if I move this near him, he won't run away too quickly. My monster shrimp goby, who is settling in nicely. He's uh, paired up with my shrimp. So uh, the symbiosis is go. And they've uh, yeah already made a nice little den, but not being too crazy with things. So uh, yeah, really happy with that little guy. The elegance was out earlier, but appears to be going in. I have just had to dose some more calcium and uh, a pH buffer because my my pH is around 7.8 at the moment, which I'm really not happy with. Really not. Yeah. So the skimmer. Oh, and at perfect timing, smile to top off. Yeah, you can see the skimmer's not doing a lot, so I'm going to give that a clean out. I think it's the pump itself that keeps going. I'm not getting a, a regular noise coming from it, 
so I, I don't think it's spinning as much as it should do. And finally, I have some macroalgae in the sump, which is ace. I'm sorry about the background noise, but Lilu's just been fed, and she's trying to get under my legs, so there's not a lot of space here. Um, yeah, so that's how the tank's looking at the moment. I'm going to get rid of these alien eye pallies because they're starting to grow very very close to the pavona which is a bit disconcerting but yeah so that's how the tanks looking sorry for not being about much um, hoping in a couple of weeks things will settle down a bit uh, if not I'll probably be having to sell more stuff from the tank or the tank itself Anyway, I'll leave you with a little bit of footage from the other day of uh, the new debrank. It's probably going to be a repeat of some of what I've said. But yeah, thanks for watching and um, see you all soon. Bye bye. Well, this was a nice little surprise. Uh, I ordered a couple of bits um, from Refito, who I've used a couple of times now, uh, mainly for copepods, amphipods, etc, etc, and of course phytoplankton. And as I loved the Seaway Aqua Coral Ignite so much, I'd just run out. So I uh, managed to sell a coral and get one of those and thought I'd give the coral snow a go just to uh, see what it's like. And of course some mysis, uh, just to try and condition the clowns a little bit, hopefully get them to breed. And look what else they sent me for free. A ton of brine shrimp. Uh, I'd ordered... Uh, a pack of four and they've sent me some for free so yeah thanks so much Refito this is gonna keep me going for quite a while and here's the little guy on day two he's um, been very very busy uh, yeah looks like he likes hair algae hooray you can see he's cleaned up this rock beautifully and you can actually see where he's been on that one he's kind of made a beeline all across there, all up there and back down. So he's he's doing good. You hear that? He's doing better than you, Mr. Urchin. Shame on you. But yeah, this is this is the side view from my tank. You haven't seen this view before. So I've got a singulara sitting down there at the moment. One of my trochus now is doing its thing. Lots of little worms. And lots of sponges at the back, so it's quite pretty. You can see the, the Turbinara coral had a bit of a fight with my mushroom. So there's some skeleton showing, so that's another reason I've moved that rock over a little bit. But yeah, it's all looking good. I love this little guy. So pretty. Nom, 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 nom.